spectacular. This one, it just takes it to a whole new level. Hi, guys. I know, I'm from Las Vegas. I had the chance to talk with Kevin last year. We've been waiting for season two, so it finally, we manifested it, Kevin. It happened. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Thanks, Rachel. Thank What's up, Vegas? <laughs> right? I know. First of all, too, Kim, Vegas, yeah. I love seeing the spotlight with Thank your you. You know, win residency. Are you having so much fun as a DJ there? Oh my God. I First of all, I love Vegas and being at the win, it's it's been so much fun. I, like Vegas is my second home. You're like my neighbor now. <laughs> well, let's go hang, okay? I mean, they still love me in the clubs, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so walking with Kim, just walking with Kim. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'd like, that would like up my cool factor so high. And Kim, besides, you know, DJing at the win, which you have such a, I mean, you're in such amazing company with Diplo and Chainsmokers. I love to see you guys give us, first of all, amazing representation with the show, but in the world of music and DJing specifically, having female representation is huge. So you're giving us all that on every front. I love it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, having a, a win residency isn't about just DJing and, and you know, having fun. Um, I'm basically one of the females at the win and I'm bringing such a massive audience of women there. You know, girls can come to my show, have fun, let loose, have a great time. And that's what makes me happy in the day. I am single, finally. <laughs> I'm going to just tell Kim how I feel. The problem with getting involved with Kevin is I'm going to have to get over the fact that he dated all these girls. I know you guys haven't seen all the episodes, but honestly, season two, it's so fun because we've all met you now. We have a little background, and it's interesting to see where these relationships go. I hate it when people lie to me. Hey! No, I had to tell her. You had to tell her. I hate when okay. you do this. Oh my God, I am in complete shock. And Kay, I mean, honestly, you have just so much fun, energy, fashion. I mean, you bring a lot of, um, like people say, you, you say you're not gossipy, but you know, you gotta have somebody who stirs the pot a little, right? It'd be a boring show. Well, I'm gonna credit a certain part. I'm just in the middle of a lot of friendships and it's tough because, you know, I adore Kim, I adore Kevin and I'm in the middle. I, you know, I wanna protect them both and I'm stuck in this situation. I mean, there won't be a show without any gossip, right? <laughs> at least I think if you watched it, at least I, hopefully I brought the humor and that's more important for me. Absolutely you did. And and, and if he brought the humor, you know, Kevin, you brought a lot of the hearts. You were very vulnerable and opening up about your, you know, true feelings and wanting to be serious. And, and a lot of guys can't do that very easily on camera or in real life. I think I'm a hopeless romantic by nature. I mean, I remember when I was like eight years old and I wanted a girlfriend right away. And my mom was scared. She's like, you're only eight years old. You want a girlfriend? I was like, yeah, man, like that's what I want in life. Uh, we will continue to wait to see what happens in season two about uh, the romance in my life. Knock, knock. I'm Dorothy Wang. Dorothy's father is also a billionaire. People like Dorothy, all they do is gossip and create drama. Kane has been trying to get lunch since 2011, and I'd rather fast for 87 days straight. Dorothy, uh, welcome back to reality TV. I, I think I watched you, was it like eight years ago on the Rich Kids of Beverly Hills, was it called? I think it was like six years ago, maybe. Yes, it's called Riches of Beverly Hills, yes. Yes, so is it, this is, what is it like coming back for a second round at it? I mean, it, um, it honestly feels like I, it, it, it's like riding a bicycle. I just hop right back on. <laughs> it was similar in the sense that a lot of people in that show were very affluent, obviously, but this time there's representation with a cast we don't always see on TV. How special and important was that to you? And you were probably excited to see the first season come out even, right? Yeah, it was important for me and it was actually very nice and it felt, even though I know that I have some issues with some people on this cast, it was nice to be able to do something with an all Asian cast. And even if I don't get along with everyone, at least it is good for our community and it is good for visibility and it is even just nice to be able to connect with more Asians and to tell Asian stories, which I wasn't able to do with, you know, my first group of friends on that show. Money so unimpresses me. It impresses you. It impresses me. It actually doesn't lot. impress it, me. It is so obvious what everybody else sees. Oh, I'm so sorry I come off that way. 
I swear only with this group. I hope this is just the beginning. Um, and, you know, there's, I, there has been like, you know, a good, I feel like after Asher came on, there's recently, especially like Netflix has with Squid Games, we've seen a lot more Asian roles and just shows in general. And so it's, it's like such a great thing. The um, basic thing is that in life, everybody has to learn from each other. Everybody Absolutely. has something to give to somebody. So it doesn't matter, black, white, yellow, pink, Asian, whatever. I just hope that it's not a trend and that it keeps going. When you can entertain, inspire, and even educate, that's a winning show. So you guys, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And